Sisters, I hope you are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. This is A Touch of Tarot. All my info is below if you want to book a personal reading on my website. So we're going to get right into your energies here, past, present, future, and we'll just see what's coming up, do some clarifying. These can be very informative and maybe give some advice. We'll see. Remember, just take what resonates and throw what doesn't, or maybe it will all resonate and take the best energy from that, okay? So in the past, okay, we start with the Queen of Pentacles energy, pretty heavy already, and we have the Prince of Pentacles here. Wow, okay. Something, you know, so Cancers, this is interesting. We're having this heavy earth energy and we have the lovers at the bottom. Um, you may have had to make a decision or a choice of some sort. It could have to do with money or something that you had a lot of interest in or a lot of even investments in, but kind of wasn't growing. And you were starting to kind of look at it as a mirage or an illusion. Um, and it looks like you actually spoke up and kind of did something that you didn't expect to do. It looks like you are ready to, I'm hearing trailblaze, like you're ready to leave. You're ready to get out. Um, let's see what this so there's definitely a love situation. There could be someone that was on the back of your mind. I'll just say that. It could be a fire sign. Um, it could be even a secret relationship you had. There's something here you may have had to come forward and confess this. Whatever it is, it has put you on a new direction to like growth. Um, this is a scary movement. It's also the unknown. You don't know what's going to happen. You may have ruffled some feathers on your way out. But whatever you were involved in before, it just looks like it was kind of drying up. Okay. So it was getting uncomfortable and it looks like you, you did something that released and caused a huge change, maybe even caused some chaos there. Okay. We'll clarify and see after. So in the recent or in the present for cancers, what's going on? Okay, we have a heavy moon energy. So you may be dealing with the Gemini Libra Aquarius what is going on here? There's definitely some heavy thinking and it's bringing me back. And even with the nine of wands, it's bringing me back to that secretive energy, something that you may not have wanted to face, to realize. And it looks like you never let go of it. That's the interesting part, right? So presently to me, I'm seeing that you're really thinking about this and you may even be trying to shut something out or shut something down. Um, I don't think you can do that, but you may be working very hard and being very stubborn. There may be someone out there that you do want to reach out to, um, but I don't know. You're possibly enjoying the single life right now. Uh, you could be worried about this person being mad with you or angry with you. Um, we'll clarify that more, but we do have a queen of swords energy here, ace of pentacles and the moon. So you're definitely thinking about a strong connection. I feel like you wanted to shut this down, but you cannot really deny it anymore. Like the mask has come off. The truth is undeniable. There's also something here, possibly like in the past, whatever it is you shut down, you just can't let it go. I don't know. Let's see, Cancer. There's some weird energy here, an air energy. Um, so in the near future, what's going to be coming up here, we have the King of Cups coming in strong. We have the Lovers, Cancer. Wow. That Libra, Gemini, Aquarian energy again. And we have the Five of Wands, which is actually one of my favorite cards in this deck because um, it's all about working things out. So in the near future cancer, you may be returning to an air sign. It could be a Gemini, heavy Gemini energy here to work things out. Um, you could be communicating with this Gemini. You could be telling someone you really love them and you want to work things out. Like that's literally the message for the near future. And yeah, whatever this is, it's going to lead to a, or whoever. So Cancer, if for descriptive reasons, if you want to know who this is, this is the person you would choose if you could choose anyone. Okay, so that's how you'll know. Uh, seriously, you have the Ace of Cups here and the Nine of Cups. Um, that's how you'll know for descriptive reasons. Okay, actually, let's move forward. You may have had to take some time to heal from this situation, but let's clarify and see what else we can get, Cancer. What a beautiful message. Yeah, we have the hermit at the bottom. So there may be some space right now because something happened. A conversation still that's very hard to have. But anyhow, in the recent past, let's see. Yeah. 
So what I see in the recent past, Cancers, is you had either got a taste of something with the page or a taste of someone or a taste of connection or something. Um, and I think you realize, like you came to a realization, this is the recent past, that whatever you were in, whatever partnership you were in, whatever situation you were dealing with, it wasn't good. It didn't feel good. It was very chaotic. It was, um, it may have been peaceful at times, but it something there was very clashy. So I feel like you realized what you do want and you you kind of broke the ice and said what you had to say, um, which is that like maybe you just said, I don't want this. There's something here where you didn't feel you were equal with someone else. You felt like maybe they held all the power and treated you uh, possibly just like, you know, an animal or something. OK, so let's clarify these energies. Wow. So this is the person on your mind. With happy loving energy here um, i believe that this is the person you're thinking of they could be an earth sign they could be a fire sign uh, this is the person you want to have a new beginning with and i think that this person is probably powerful uh, very single i was about to say so this person could be very single and still in their very desired um this is a manifester or someone definitely a manifester actually this is someone who is big deal it's a big deal whether this person is famous or not cancer this is someone who has their stuff together in many ways I'm not talking about just money that could be one of the ways for sure but um just in a total package that's this person is very powerful very Gemini energy now because Queen of Swords and the Magician for me is like Gemini, but we have Pisces Cancer here, we have Virgo Capricorn, we have Scorpio energy here, um, so you take it, and there's Fire energy here as well, Leo Sagittarius, Aries, um, so let's see what else we get here. So yeah, there's in the near future, there is going to be action taken. You are going to be coming back towards this air sign or this person that you really love. You're going to be making a solid offer or declaring that this person is your world, that they don't, you don't feel good without them, that you couldn't stop thinking of them, that you want to have a new beginning with them. This is what I'm seeing. Does that make sense, Cancer? I'm sorry, like as I'm saying that, I'm like, I'm just like thinking about it. I'm like, uh, this is what I'm seeing. Like, that's a very strong message here. Um, and remember, it could be this person coming towards you. I'm just going to reshuffle these. Uh, it could be this person coming towards you. But I really feel like, you know, you're thinking of someone. Okay? So let's see. So the death card. So you may want to apologize for the lack of love you've shown um, to this person in the past. You may want to work on that. You may want to say, I want to learn how to show you love better because there's something here where maybe the way you show love is maybe financially or in other ways. Maybe it's not financially. Maybe it's just grounded ways. Some other sort of like, you know, oh, let me take it. Let's go for a walk or something. And this person probably wants actual uh, maybe some love or they want you to open up more, or be more loving. It's something weird here. Why did that We'll ask right now. Anyhow, there's a new beginning in love. But why did that come in reverse or was it really not meant to be in reverse possibly? Um, it could be saying just take things slow. You know, don't overdo the love with this. When you have this reunion, take it slow. Um, don't lie to yourself. Be honest with yourself as well, okay? So let's get a card. Thank you for whoever bought this gift. I really appreciate it. Absolutely beautiful, but it didn't come with a name on it. So I have no idea who it is. Okay. So look at cancers moving forward. That is really what you are doing by the looks of it. After this tower moment, uh, you decided to start moving forward and I'm going to guess with someone. Okay. Look at, I'm seeing the memories and the unicorn. So this is someone who you have fond memories about and who's very special to you. And with these cards right here, I do think that that is a very special combination. The nine of pentacles, the empress and the magician. This is someone who is very powerful, um, very strong, very wise very seductive. This is someone who knows their value a thousand percent. Okay. Um, and who doesn't want to play games as well. So this is the person that looks like you're going towards and you're going to be asking uh, or offering some more stability and less of that lovey-dovey energy, more friendship and companionship um, and reliability and some sort of like strength and building here. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you're moving forward. All right. Into something very special. Have yourself a 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day, weekend, all of that, Cancers. Bye for now.